Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we are here getting ready to mix and match even more animal genes to see what kind of adorable little experimental babies might be the result. And today we are still up in that snowy wonderland of the Alaskan wilderness, celebrating the Red Lantern series and all of the amazing sled dogs we have there, as well as the release of Snowy Escapes with the arrival of some new snow related adventures in The Sims 4. So what does that mean, my friends? It means that we are going to be working with animals who really enjoy cold climates, like another amazing husky. You know, normally we try to provide a little bit more variety to these challenges, but I have to tell you guys, the huskies have amazing crossbreeds with pretty much anything you throw at them. And today we're actually going to have Laura with us. Isn't she beautiful? She's another one of the amazing huskies I found on the gallery and I instantly fell in love with her because holy cow, I freaking love her red coat. I actually have a very soft spot for dogs that have reddish coats, possibly because of Babe, my grandfather's very loyal and very wonderful Labrador, who had many puppies who had red coats. And even though we didn't keep those puppies, I just never knew Labrador could be so red before. And I will never forget being fascinated with them as a baby. In fact, actually friends, hold up here. Everyone, you know, grab your clipboards. I think I just had a bit of a eureka moment. I wonder if my fascination with all of the different ways that genes can play out when you mix two different parents might come from the fact that we had our brown Labrador and our yellow Labrador have like puppies that come in every single color that Labradors can have puppies. White ones, black ones, brown ones, red ones. It was really amazing. There was even one called Platinum, I remember now. I bet that was the moment. That was the moment that little Eureka Scientist Siri was born, staring at that pile of puppies and then my dogs as like a seven-year-old and trying to figure out, wait a second, those aren't the same colors? How did that work? Ha! Huh. We have now solved a personal mystery. I'm pretty happy about that. But alright guys, so Laura is actually another one of the loyal sled dogs who happen to live in the Alaskan wilderness, but she very rarely pulls a sled. You see, her owner is actually a paramedic in the town that they happen to live in, and so thankfully her owner only has to actually hook up the sled dog team when things are quite dire and her owner's jeep or whatever you drive a Humvee, I don't know, in the middle of the Alaskan wilderness. Uh, probably a good solid truck with some good tires is my guess. Whenever her owner, the paramedic, is not able to reach by car anybody who needs help, then instead she hooks up a loyal sled dog team who go to the rescue, and Laura is one of those members. And Laura is actually the friendliest out of all of her team of sled dogs, but she tends to have a very serious face, and at first being introduced, many people are very hesitant to go near her or pet her because just look at that face. She's very intense, very serious, especially when on the job, but when not off to rescue people and save them from an icy death out in the snow, she actually is extremely friendly, good with kittens and kids and loves to play, uh, but it's just, you know, her face is so serious. And that is why her owner actually put this really adorable little scarf, which is another amazing piece of content by Kalino, around her neck as an attempt to try to convince people that, it, you know, Laura is not as scary as some people say she looks. So Laura, welcome. Welcome to the family. And today, Laura is actually going to have a very unexpected encounter with none other than Pretzel the Musk Ox. <laughs> So I know Prestel doesn't look as much as a musk ox as the musk ox in Red Lantern, but by heck and high water, I have been rammed by that musk ox so many times off my sled in Red Lantern that I am determined to put my foot down and actually have a musk ox show up here in our laboratory challenge. And that's indeed what happens today. This time, Pretzel, the musk ox, and thank you very much to whoever had the name Pretzel in your username for letting me use such a glorious name for this ox, by the way. But Pretzel the Musk Ox actually ended up getting himself tangled up in someone's sled when the, the dog sledder and the musk ox got spooked. Thankfully, he turned out to be pretty docile, didn't really wander too far from the scene of the accident, and the person who got hit by the musk ox was only lightly bruised. So, as Laura wanders around while her owner, the paramedic, is going ahead and tending to the wounded musher, 
uh, who's, you know, mostly just a little bit hysterical because it was a little alarming to be rammed by a muskox out of nowhere. I can attest, having had that happen many times to me in Red Lantern. Uh, Pretzel happens to be there, and Pretzel actually proves to be a lot friendlier than Laura expected. And Laura proves to be a lot friendlier than, you know, anybody expects of her very serious face. And the two actually share a nice afternoon together, a bit of a bond. And before you know it, as the, another month or so passes by, we have an unexpected litter of husky and musk ox puppies being born in Laura's little dog house. <laughs> So that's the mix, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to see how these genes play out. And we have some things to inherit this time. I'll tell you guys what, we'll have a chance of inheriting Laura's beautiful scarf. She might have her owner make mini scarves for some of her puppies. And we also have a chance of the Dice of Destiny 50-50 giving a chance to the puppies inheriting the horns from the musk ox. So the musk ox horns, which normally would connect in the middle, but you gotta do what you can do with the CC that we have available. CC being the custom content that makes these animals look so exotic after all. And we also have a chance of inheriting the tail and even the hooves. So there's a lot going on here. And by the way, all of the speckles on the musk ox is just the snow that is sprinkled across it. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Laura, I think you're going to be a fantastic mother from the random comment generator to see what we end up with. And you're, oh, so cute. And here we actually have Lynx. Lynx, welcome, welcome to the family. I think you are, you being the colors that you are as soon as you're born have immediately let your mother Laura know that something is up here. Also, I love that you happen to have the name Lynx. There are many Lynxes in our community I'm finding. And also many wolves and horses and dragons. Yes, indeed, I think there's some favorite animals that some of you guys share. But Lynx, I actually think doing a Lynx and Clouded Leopard mix would be amazing. So I'm gonna write that down right now on my handy dandy scientist little clipboard I have here. And you are going to be playful, active, and hairy. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, has anyone ever tried to, like, get the hair off a musk ox and do something with it? I'm not sure. Do you make yak wool? I know that, like, llamas have, like, wool that you can make out of their fur and alpacas, but what about a musk ox? Are musk ox smelly? I need answers to these questions. I hope some of you guys can provide them. All right, but a lynx and a clouded leopard sounds amazing. And if you guys think that sounds amazing too, comments because that will help me pick which of the hundreds of new experiments we might be able to do. And then we're gonna go ahead and have Tayo. <gasps> Tayo, you're so cute. Look at this little one. Okay, you inherited your mother's really bright face is actually going to be your dad's because your eyes are already kind of pointing the opposite directions, uh, which is how the musk ox eyes are so that they can scan constantly for predators, by the way. So Tayo, there we go. And you, you know what? On the whole question of if you could gather the fur from a musk ox, Tayo, I'm gonna let you produce wool. Normally I re-roll that because many of the animals we have cannot produce wool, but by heck, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna knit these scarves that these little ones can wear out of the musk ox wool if it's like the last thing I do. All right, Tayo, you are also friendly and playful, which is wonderful. And having a wolf and a wild dog. Ooh, that is an excellent suggestion for a mix idea. I'm going to be writing that down just as we have found out in the past. All right, and let's go ahead. And we're gonna see what little, are you guys ready for this? Kit Kat! Kit Kat, you look like your dad pretzel too! Oh my gosh, we're just getting little musk ox puppies. Non-stop, it's adorable. All right, so welcome Kit Kat. That's really funny because we just had a Kit Kat a little bit ago in our challenge. Uh, but this is a different Kit Kat, I can tell from the avatar. And Kit Kat, you are hairy, possibly contributing to that wool situation. A hunter and jumpy. Welcome to the family. Look at all these little ones. I'm sus I'm I'm kind of sus about some of the eyes on these guys. I think we're gonna end up with dad's very unique looking face. Alright, let's go ahead and have the next one. Actually just said that things were sus because literally white is kind of sus. Your username just got picked by the random name generator. Whoa! <laughs> and this is what you're going to look like. And you would like to have, uh, you would like to have somebody named Case. So this is going to be Case. 
And having a nine-tailed fox and a dragon have babies. Ooh, you like the, the mythology there, my friend. But welcome to Little Case. All right, you, sir. You know what? You can produce wool if you want to. And you're going to be independent and a sleuth. Your eyes are a little concerning, but sometimes demon eyes do interesting things. And I think at this point, Laura has just come to accept that she is having a bunch of ox puppies. Like, that's just the way things are going to... This is going to be a little Oz! No, not yet, not yet! Okay, and... <gasps> a new color! Yes! This is going to be a little Oz! Welcome, Oz! You are so freaking cute! Okay, there we go. And you are going to be a stubborn troublemaker who is a sleuth. So I think you've got a little bit more husky than ox in you this time. Oh, I'm really excited. Look, we finally have one. I think that Laura is like, oh, wow, this one actually looks kind of like me. That's delightful. All right. Let's... All right. And then this little one, the last one in Laura's litter is going to be... <gasps> so fluffy! This is actually Skellington or Skellings. Skellings, heck. I'm so excited that you got picked. I know you've been waiting for that for a long time with your awesome Minecraft animal crossbreed suggestions. And Skellings, you are going to be an adventurous, friendly couch potato. Look at this little fluff. Oh my gosh, I think this might be like my favorite of the puppy variants. But all right, time is passing on and we are gonna go ahead and raise this little puppy ox litter to adulthood. And we're gonna roll the random generator, AKA the dice of destiny in this case, to see if we end up with the horns and if we end up with the hooves. And I'm just gonna let the tails be whatever the tails might be. All right, Pretzel, congratulations on the family that you don't even know you have. Now being raised to poss- I guess actually, if you had a sled dog husky crossed with an ox, you would end up with a really great creature to pull your sled. I think that Laura may have just rewritten the future of her owner's sled dog team. Lynx, you're up first. Okay, okay. Look at you, Lynx. All right, you went more with your, your mother's features. And you actually do have the horns, but not the hooves. All right, all right. Pretty, I would say normal-ish looking. So I think we're actually thinking this one is a little bit more husky in personality. But let me find those horns. And we'll go ahead and add the horns on top of your head. All right, there you go, Lynx. There you go. We have to imagine those horns kind of connect at the top. Uh, and no hooves, so I think that you're just going to be a really powerful sled dog. Nice! Who, who, which ears did you inherit, I wonder? I think your dad's ears. So you really look a lot like your dad, and you're going to remind Laura of that wonderful afternoon. Tayo, your eyes. Tayo, you're so cute. All right, Tayo, time to go ahead and grow you up. Oh! Tayo, I don't know what it is about Tayo's face, but it just makes me think of like a very mildly distressed puppy. And Tayo, you actually inherited both the horns and the hooves. Also, we need to go ahead and leave a scarf on each one of these guys too. So I need to go do that. All right, so there's the horns. And then where's the cute little scarf? I know you're in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. And then we're gonna give Tayo a cute little scarf as well. And then finally, we're going to add on the hooves. There we go. Tayo, you actually- oh, you look really cute all dressed up like that. You know, if you wrap a scarf, a cute little winter scarf around somebody, it's just like an instant way to make them freaking adorable. All right, where are- there's my scarf. There we go. We'll give that one to Lynx. Oh, I love this team. All right, Kit Kat, you're up next. <gasps> Kit Kat, this is what I'm talking about. Really mixing those genes about. All right, Kit Kat, I love you. Oh my gosh, that's kind of what I was hoping we would end up with for the faces. And Kit Kat, you actually inherited the horns, but not, not the hooves. So I think you're another excellent member for the Slut Dog team. <laughs> and I think your ears kind of get caught up in your horn a little bit. And so does your extremely fluffy face. It's kind of endearing, I'm not gonna lie. And we're gonna go ahead and give you, how about a nice, hmm, blue, Kit Kat, let's give you orange, green. Let's give her a blue one too. Just, you know, I think the with the blue eyes, it just matches so nicely. And it's a lovely scarf made out of her own fur. Wonderful. Okay, Kit Kat, I love your face. Case, you're up next. Oh. <gasps> 
case. Thank you. I need, in every litter, at least one, one member of the family who truly makes me go, what is that? In case, you have met that goal. You did not inherit the horns. You did not inherit the hooves. But Case, I am very, very happy to go ahead and knit you a lovely scarf. There you are. Oh my goodness. Even the scarf is supersized. <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you, Case. I needed that. I always love having one, like, mega big outlier. Oz? Oz, you just took after your mom, like, straight down the line. You were ready. Well, I don't know that, actually. Okay, I take it back. You took after your mom and your dad because you got the horns. <laughs> Oz looks amazing, and now we're gonna know what does it look like if you have a husky who happens to have some some horns. Well, you know, Oz, I think we might need to, to wiggle your ears around a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. We'll try to figure that out. Um, I'm sure this works out a little bit less painfully than it looks somehow. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and give you a scarf. Uh, let's give you a nice... How about a nice white scarf? Why not? like the snow and then finally you did inherit those hooves too so wow actually you know who oz reminds me of out of the blue the the oh no i forgot his name the witch the lion of the wardrobe under the lantern ah, i forgot his name i can't believe that all right you guys know who i'm talking about from the witch the lion and the wardrobe look at that look at that he reminds me of him that's who he reminds me of and oz you turned out fantastic finally we have little skellings Oh, Skellings. Thank you. This is what I wanted. Except not the dragon tail. Why does that dragon tail harass me so? Alright, there we go. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do that tail. Just because I randomed away the dragon tail at least. But Skellings, you are fantastically fluffy. And you, my friend, inherited the horns, but not the hooves. And we will knit you a scarf from your mother's owner. And we will celebrate the fact that these random genetics challenges, you just never know where they're going to take us. All right, where are those horns? There they are. I love it. I love it. I actually love this mix. Look at that big fluffy white tail that we ended up like getting. That is so cute. All right, this made me very happy. And you know what? I think I can even go ahead and I can start forgiving the muskox for knocking me off my feet every single time we run into it in Red Lantern now. So this was fantastic. If you guys have more suggestions, do please leave them down in that comment section. Oh, it's a little Kit Kat. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands of more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.